Sometimes I'm craving a brunch that's wholesome and simple, but still full of flavor. That's what I call a farmhouse brunch. And it starts off with a super simple bread that you can make in your own Dutch oven. I've got a little bit of flour and salt in here. Yeast is one of those things that helps the bread to rise. And it's funny because the smell of yeast reminds me of my nonna or my grandma because making bread with her was something very special when I was growing up. And I would always ask her to stir this part. It's my favorite. The warm water is what helps to activate the yeast. And as it slowly dissolves, I love to feel the pearls just between my fingers. It reminds me when I was young. This is a really wet dough, so it's best to mix it with a wooden spoon, otherwise it'll stick to your fingers. This is a bread that you can make the night before. This way it has the time to slowly rise. But luckily, I started one earlier. The dough has slowly risen, and it's still quite wet, but I'm gonna add in some flour. Watch how. The trick is to incorporate the flour slowly with a couple of quick kneads. This just needs to rise a little longer in a grease line bowl. Go ahead and put your feet up, relax a little, because a farmhouse brunch is never in a hurry. The trick to amazing bread is making sure that Dutch oven is screaming hot. And it's gonna help the bread rise and steam in there. It's gonna be great. A little cornmeal at the bottom of the Dutch oven is going to help the bread from sticking and gives it such a nice texture. And look at that dough. Have a look at how it's risen. Now the tip is you don't even need to touch the dough. You just wanna coax it out and have it land right in the middle of the pan. Perfect. And using a really sharp knife, just run a little cut down the center of the bread. And that cut over top is gonna to make sure that when this cooks, it's gonna rise up and not out. And be careful because this is still super hot. This is ready for the oven. When it comes out, it's gonna be a crispy and golden bread. I can't wait to show you. Is this bread stunning or what? And it's actually still crackling, that cornmeal under there, I hear it. It smells so good in here. I have to go in for a slice. In my family, we all fight for the butt of the bread. <laughs> it's one of the most delicious parts. But I wanna show you how the butter melts on this piece right here. Look at that. I love the crackle of freshly baked bread. Mm. Mm. I need to show you this. I am obsessed with all of those air pockets in the bread. It's soft and fluffy, and the outside is crispy. There's nothing better than home-baked bread. <laughs>